Yeah, I'm pastor Brizno, and, and um, I have been pastors like 15 years. Uh, I work with a uh, civil team from America, from the United States, especially the water guys when they come. But mostly with Joe and Haiti, as you can see on my t-shirt, who support the ministries down here. So we, my wife and I, we are running an orphanage of 26 girls and a school of 125 kids and a church of 300 people. The church, the small building we have now, it's crowded. It can't even hold 300 people. I don't know if you have seen that on Sunday. So we have some of the people sitting outside of the building and crowded, the chairs are very crowded. So we, we think we're gonna change that. The school, now we can have a classroom for each grade. What we do, we put two grades in the same classroom. So we, we think with the new property, we'll be able to have a classroom for each grade. So that will give them more, more rooms for. Yeah. This is the new property for the church building and the school building. So this is a whole chicken farm. It's a pretty nice place, quiet. It's really peaceful and then it's a blessing because it's so close to the current property where we are now. We're gonna build the church building here and the school building and, and a clinic. So to help the people in this area. I know join Hades is working behind that to raise more support because it's a big need for the community. It's not about me and my wife, but it's about the whole community. It's about the kids, it's about the people in the church. Also, the people in the community who are dying, some of them are dying from diabetes, um, high blood pressure, some problem with eyes and teeth. So we hope to have a clinic here. We need to build a wall and then have a gate, dig a well, because we will need water, and then put a transformer on that pillow, electric pillow, so then we will be able to, we will be able to build on it, on the property. We have received big support from Joy in Haiti and St. Louis area, so it's, it has been a really big challenge for us. And still, to build a church, to build a school, to build a clinic, so we need to stay in prayer and then, asking the Lord to provide, so that's, that's the point. I want to thank everyone who's supporting Join Haiti and the water guy and the orphanage and the school. So I'm very thankful to them, to whoever support the ministry that we were doing in Haiti. It's kind of burden on our shoulder, but we would not be able to do it by ourselves. So we're very thankful. And please keep praying for us, keep praying for the ministry so that God can keep providing. Thank you so much.